Hello my soccer universe. Well, you know already my love for the AFCON, but I gotta say the Asian Cup knockout stage has been a lot more spectacular than the AFCON knockout stage. Uh, so many good games and what's more, even so many upsets and arguably we have a duel of outsiders here in the final uh, that no one would have predicted. I mean, if you would have told me that Jordan is in the final, I would have called you crazy. I would have called you crazy. It's also not a great final for my collection because I had three semifinalists. Yeah, one team standing, which are the hosts. But on on the other side, the way Jordan have been playing, this was really, really exciting stuff. And I actually find that they totally deserved it. And I found myself rooting for them, even though I cannot get a jersey of theirs. But hey, so be it. But Let's talk about Jordan against South South Korea. I think a major factor in that one uh, has to be not only the tactics. Let's take that out. Of, but a major factor has to be South Korea comes off two overtime games and they looked leggy. They looked tired. Uh, and, you know, not only that overtime games where they actually really had to pull out everything to move on and say and salvage themselves in the last minutes. And I, as I said, I think this played a fair factor in it. But on the other hand, Jordan did the exact right thing. They knew that South Korea do have trouble creating because I think they're not very well set up by Jürgen Klinsmann, honestly. And they just kept it tight, had two defensive lines, uh, attacked quickly, launched attacks and harassed the South Korean defense, who was also without Kim Min Jae, another major... Um, point continuously and i think there was one chance for south korea in the first half other than that i mean jordan should have had a halftime lead there were plenty of chances there and they get the fine uh, the deserved lead again on the car contract where um altamari takes off the ball and it goes to uh yazan al namat and he makes it one in the 53rd minute. South Korea leads to open up even, even more. And this exactly ends uh, just 30, 30 minutes later with Al Tamari getting the second goal. Uh, also a clean shot. And then South Korea having absolutely nothing, nothing in their locker to get to turn this uh, game, turn a game around. And to be honest, uh, it is to me an absolute miracle that South Korea have not won an Asian Cup since the 60s. They have been the dominant team. How didn't they do, they do it? It's also one thing that has, as we said, I mean, these tournaments get hosted by all kinds of nations. South Korea has plenty of stadiums. Why not they not hold hosting an Asian Cup? That is another thing that uh, beggars a little bit believe if you have some more info about that. Please drop below. But yeah, major, major upset. Um, as I said, Jordan fully deserved that one. Uh, they will, of course, be ranked outsiders in the final, whoever they will play uh, as well. But they are a really, really cool story. Yes, they killed the Tajikistan story, but I think a Jordan story is an equally great one, one has to say. And yes, luck of the draw, but beating South Korea, that's not a, uh, a small feat. And I don't know for that. They rightfully booked their place in the next round. Where they will meet the hosts, who against probably Asia's other really best team, Iran, found themselves down early. Brilliant as Mongol. I mean, he first doesn't hit 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 the ball because it takes takes a deflection, and then he um, semi bicycle kicks it in the net. Uh, really good stuff there. Uh, but Iran, I honestly, they played so well against Japan uh, without Meedi Tareme. I was a little bit a little bit surprised. Yeah, yes, he probably is the best striker, but that bring him back in. I don't know. I don't know. In this case, overtime did not play a, a big role because both teams advanced uh, through penalty shoot, 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 that's, uh Iran in the round of 16, um, Qatar in the previous one. Uh, but it was a really open game. It was a. This was, of all the semifinals, Asian Cup and AFCON, this was clearly the best one. I would even argue this was probably the best game of the knockout stage in the Asian Cup so far. It was a real fun watch and thrilling. Uh, it was really hard to work while, <laughs> while having this match on at the same time because there were so many things going on. I mean, uh, at, um, equalizer for Qatar well, well, was a little bit fluky goal because Afif, uh, yes, he, he plays with Abdul Salam. 
But Abdul Salam uh, shot takes such a wicked deflection that it just goes in to internet 1-1. One, one. I have to say I was a little bit more on the Iran side uh, here, so I um, was not too happy. I mean, I always felt that Iran has a little bit more possession, but that Qatar was uh, more dangerous, especially uh, through Afif, who is definitely the player of the tournament for me so far. And he gets a brilliant uh, go-ahead head head goal for Kakatar curls it up there. Uh, after I think waste, wasting another chance early on, Iran though make the substitution a little bit more offensive. Get a hands pal penalty. Honestly, I think it was very very close range, and I'm getting so frustrated with that hand law uh, or the way it is interpreted. That I don't know. It's just I think it's just a cheat code of making of having more goals. That's what all the way it does. And Jan Bach steps up, Ali Reza from Feyenoord uh, equalizes, makes it 2-2. Uh, almost immediately uh, Qatar would have established the lead, but I think after the 60th minute or so on, you could feel the weight of the game is pressing on it. And while it was really great for the first 60 six minutes, it suddenly slowed down a little bit. And the decision then came when Hatem plays a ball, uh, ball to almost Ali, and I keep saying it, former last strike <laughs> he played when we were exactly for half season. I think he scored him in a goal. Um, pulled one in, 3 2. It's, uh, everyone thought he is offside, but he was put onside and scores the winner. Iran desperately trying to get, get some, uh, again called out, and I think it's Kalisade who brings down a FIFA, if, 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 if I remember. Uh, it's a red card in 93 minutes, and still Iran have two great chances to equalize. One through Ali, uh, Ali Reza. I don't like saying Jahan Bach all the much. I think Ali Reza is, is easier. Ali Reza with a shot between two legs. Very well placed, too well placed, because it also goes on the inside of the post, but curls out. And then very, very late on this. And this was, I think, in or, or in the 12th minute stop stoppage time. And then I think 14th or 15th, only 13 were given. Uh, there is a shot where it takes multiple deflections and in the end goes to the outline and Qatar uh, through. A little bit of a frustration for me is I love the AFCON, don't get me wrong, but uh, both uh, competitions are shown on the, on, on, on the same channel. And you know, it was like three minutes of stoppage time played. Uh, I didn't even see the red card. They switched right over to the F to, to the F. So, so the last few frantic minutes I had then to watch in highlights a little bit later. But still, this was cool stuff. Uh, this was a really, really entertaining game. Qatar probably have um, won. I don't want to say deservedly, but they were a slightly better team, than a slightly more stable team. And they are now, of course, also favorites to repeat as champ champions. Uh, final will be played on Saturday at 4 o'clock. This cuts very much into my watching schedule, but I think I will pay more attention to this one. And of course, Qatar are 60-40% favorite, but both teams that are in the final would not have been considered uh, fav fav favorites going on. However, it also has to say both teams, I don't want to say had easy ways to the final, but up until the semifinals, they both of them were in the easier quadrants, whereas South Korea and Iran definitely came out of the much more loaded parts of the bracket, so this definitely played a role. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting fight played in Lucille Stadium. I wonder whether this will sell out. I mean, yes, he's played in Qatar and Qatar is playing at home. Getting 80,000 in there? I don't know how, and I, I mean, Jordan have had a really good showing uh, in terms of fans, but I also would like, I'm wondering how many fans they, they will get there. But be it as, as it may, two very interesting teams, two outsiders, I think Qatar will repeat, Qatar will repeat, and yeah, they probably will also have a word to say the next, next time around when the tournament will be played in Saudi Arabia, so we have now three tournaments in a row in the Gulf region which also doesn't feel quite right, to be honest. But we have to remember this tournament should have been played in China. So there you go. Any case, let me know your thoughts on the Asian Cup. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, 
Have a wonderful day. Bye.